Hey, it's Kathy, and I'm standing in front of a mirror showing you where we're at almost a year post-op from my skin removal surgery that I had in November of 2023. So we're one year post-op, and I'm overall extremely happy with the results of my fleur de -lis skin removal. So I have the cut from here to here, and then from hip bone to hip bone. However, after a year, you can see things have relaxed a little bit. This is normal. And sometimes with that much skin removed, it requires a revision. So this kind of weird little flappy bulge thing I have right here, that is going to be revised. Uh, my plastic surgeon's going to cut from my belly button to the scar ends kind of somewhere in between here, which leads me to the next part. I'm still technically, this is a 36 or 34 triple D bra. And I'm spilling out of it because it's skin. I have so much loose skin on my chest after losing 150 pounds. And I can't, like no bra will contain it. I've tried every bra going full coverage is best because it's covering up the majority of what I like to call this skin jello. But when I don't have a bra on, they're literally down to almost my belly button. And as you know, I'm on Ocrevus, which is the MS medication, which greatly reduces your body's ability to heal from skin infections. And this is actually a medical situation. Not only are they too big for my frame now, they're still definitely, even after losing a lot of weight, there's still a lot of volume there along with the, the loose skin, but there's still tissue and bulk too. And uh, this needs to be addressed. I'm constantly trying to keep it clean and dry and rash free, especially underneath of here. When I run, the skin will kind of like bounce up out of the two sports bras and bounce band that I have to wear. Just for the last two years, all I've done is try to contain this skin jello. Like that's the only thing I can call it. But then I'm so thin or up top that I have these gaps here too. So it has been this whole conceal and contain game since losing the majority of my weight. So I have been on a wait list for this for over a year and I just got the call that this and this is being fixed on uh, Tuesday, October 8th. So I'm super happy that this will take place again. Uh, this, like I said, this is considered cosmetic, so I do have to pay a little bit out of pocket for this. Not much though, it's not bad. But this is a medical condition. The skin infections that I get pose a huge risk to my health. And I was pre-approved through Medicare to have a breast reduction. So I'll be going down in size. These triple Ds are gonna go down to probably a B by the time it's all said and done, then they're put back where they belong. And this is gonna be covered through Medicare. So I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm so glad to not have to keep dealing with this every single day, whether I wear a sports bra, a regular bra, a bathing suit top. And uh, it kind of stinks to have to have a new incision again. This is gonna be about seven or eight inches long, but it's superficial, you know, this doesn't involve muscle repair or anything. He's just going to literally take some more of this loose skin uh, probably do a cut here and here and just kind of bring things together and, and pull that in a little bit more. And that will completely complete my uh, weight loss transformation in this whole journey in losing 150 pounds. I don't expect to maybe lose more than a pound or two. Uh, they do have to take, I think, like 250 grams per breast as per Medicare requ requirements, but more than that will be coming anyway. So, uh, you know, I don't really think this is going to affect my weight a whole lot, but quality of life is going to go way up. It's going to make clothing shopping and bra shopping, bathing suit shopping, even what tops I could wear. I was still always trying to fit everything into, and then people be like, oh, your boobs are so big still. Well, they're, you know, it's not pretty. <laughs> so, uh, it's going to be nice to not have this hanging on my neck and hanging on my shoulders. And I found I've been wanting to stand up more round shouldered and not actually stand up straight because it looks like you're trying to stick something out. And I'm like, trust me, I'm not, I'm just trying to keep it all from falling out before I get home. So anyways, this is where we're at and stay tuned for some of the after. I'm obviously not going to be showing my top to all of you in the world, but, um, yeah, this is going to be what they call an anchor incision. So they cut underneath the breast and then they cut up to the nipple and reposition it and remove basically a bottom part and then close it back in. So I'll have the, the T scar, they call it, or the ankle anchor scar 
and uh, I can't wait. I don't care about scars anymore. Clearly, this is about keeping my skin healthy, uh, being able to run and swim and not have this discomfort and, and just getting rid of this stupid skin, constantly rubbing and chafing together, getting twisted and pinched in my clothing. Like, it's time. I can't wait. So stay tuned and I'll give you an update when we're done.